Previously on Steins Gate. This one line's headed for World War Three. What the fuck? No! Fuck you! Get the fuck out of here! I'm, that's it. I'm out of options. I've been to I've been to the the, sh the one more line with the dystopian future. I was I guess the other ending was with negative. Maybe I should go back to that world line because at least I had me hooking up with Ferris and getting giggity. But none of my friends knew me, so that world line sucked. Now you're telling me World War Three is fuck. Fuck you! No, fuck you! Fuck this shit! Fuck this game! No, I'm out of here. I'm done. I'm fucking done. And now back to fucking up history. Oh, Corrine. I can still feel the knife in my hand. You still feel her fading heartbeat. Look at my hands over Miri's shoulder. They're red with blood. Greasy's blood. The shaking won't stop. Tears fall, washing away the blood. Guilt and despair, spare of tearing my soul. I sue out and take the knife. I might slip my own throat in that very spot. This reality is too much to bear. But I realize this is retribution. My just punishment for taking the godlike power of time travel and using it to distort the past. Kurisu can't be saved. And that has been proven, beyond a doubt. At the very least, I can't save her. Not even with Miyuri's encouragement. There's nothing I can do. You're wrong. So he speaks with her voice full of conviction immediately afterwards. I hear familiar me melody. My mail to him. Miyuri takes my phone out of, my po out of her pocket. She's been looking after it. You've got mail, Okarine. Miyuri gently pushes my phone in my hand. I have the energy to check my mail. For some reason, Zua gestures for me to look at it. I reluctantly open my inbox. Uh. What? Turn on the TV. What? Turn on the TV. That's all it says. It's under some familiar. It's a prank. Spam. Bewildered. I don't know who, who sent this. But then I happen to glance at the sender, and the shock is still a lightning bolt. It's like a lightning bolt to the brain. The date was sent. August 21st, 2025. 2025? No, this, this doesn't even occur to me to wonder if my phone has malfunctioned. After all, I know this phenomenon. A D-mail? Look up at Suzua. She seems, sees my confusion and looks at my phone. It actually came through, just like I said it would. Judging by my her surprise, I guess she doesn't, I guess she doesn't know much. So we left from 2036, that's 11 years after this email was sent. Does it mean it's not related to her? What does it mean? There must be something on. Something you need to see. Hey guys, I brought the stuff! <coughs> I've got clothes! Dara comes back with a convenience store bag right on time. Unfortunately, my phone has TV reception. As soon as I switch it on, I hear a see news reporter singing in some foreign airport. It's a jumbo jet in the background. Looking closer, I see burns near the, the plane's tail. The caption says, fire on Russian airlines. Russian authorities announced today that a riot broke out on a Russian Airlines Flight 801 en route from Narita to Moscow. The flight departed Narita Airport at 11.05 Jap Japan time, but a fire broke out on in the cargo hold shortly before arrival. The flight made an emergency landing at Domodevo, Do Domodedovo International Airport where the passengers were evacuated and no one was injured. One of the passengers on flight 801 was a Japanese physicist who had declared his invention to seek asylum in Russia. In Russia, the screen changes and the camera cuts to what appears to be the airport lobby. So I, that Nakanakabachi was on that plane. I'm standing there, surrounded by reporters. When I see his face, my breath catches my throat. Sup, douchebags? Ha ha! I got a, That's how you get away with murder, motherfuckers! Ah, ah, ah. Dr. Nakabachi. Dr. Nakabachi, real name Makise Shuichu. Say, so made these comments to the press earlier today. So they come from the shock of murder in Greece. The images on TV seem like something from a dream. Did they see Nakabachi saw asylum in Russia? I think people still did that in this day and age. I mean, all you need is a passport to travel to Russia. I am delighted to have arrived safely in this wonderful country. My deepest gratitude to the Russian government for accepting me. What happened on the plane re re read the subtitles at the bottom of the screen. In the cabin filled with smoke, I remained permanently calm. Some passengers panicked, but they settled down after I gave them talking to. Watch your response confidently. So he doesn't look like a man who could who could strangle his own daughter. My compliments to the pilot for a safe landing. He's a hero, for he sa saved not only my life, but my historic thesis as well. Ha ah ha. So I said, am I gonna shoot a plane down? Because fuck that fuck all those other people? So that as that this is gonna end? But Crease says dead or something? Subtitle changes is is that thesis is related to your quest for asylum. Nakamachi nods theatrically. Oh, oh, I see. It must be a, a Russian reporter. 
right? Who's talking to them? Indeed, if the thesis had been lost, it would have been it would have set scientific progress back a century. This thesis will change the course of human history. What is your thesis about? This thesis describes the first practical theory of time travel. Do you understand time travel? I, Dr. Nagabachi, have succeeded where countless others have failed. Nagabachi's tone quickly grows feverish. Now he's talking directly to the camera. Remember, he's not talking he's not talking about the accident at all, he's just promoting his research. His he presents presents something to the camera. It's the envelope, the one crease who gave him. Still covered in her fucking blood. This envelope contains the future of mankind. Soon all of our dreams shall be realized. When I present this thesis to the scientific community, the world will change forever, and I will be known as the father of the time machine. I have no right to condemn Nakabachi for his actions, not when it was my hand that took Kreese's life. At the same time, I can't stop myself from re recalling the words Kreese spoke that hurt, betrayed tone that triggered Nakabachi's violence. You steal my work? I, I didn't even think you would do something like that. Yeah, that is just, God, this guy is, this guy needs to fucking die. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. You know what? This guy needs to fucking burn in the deepest bells of hell. You can bet your ass he will. And he'll be my, my hand. I'm going to slay his ass when I find him. Do these words not echo in his ears too? How did he stand there? Presenting his murdered daughter's work as if it were his own. And looks so proud of himself while doing it. I hear my teeth grinding in my head. Originally, this envelope was in my checked bag. If it had stayed... There would have been burned up in the cargo hold and humanity's dreams along with it. Oh. Fuck me. Does that mean we... Does that mean... Oh, fuck me. Are, are you saying that we are going to... The baggage stays on the plane so that it gets burned up or something? Does that mean Kreese is just going to stay dead? Fuck me. This isn't a happy ending at all. <laughs> However, fate intervened on my behalf. As if God himself decreed that my greatness should be known across the world. Nagabachi thrusts his open hand at the camera. Behold, the vessel of God's grace. Because this was this was inside the envelope. And set off the metal detector. As a result, I had to take the envelope with me on the plane. Oh. Wow, he's really going in detail about that. <laughs> this, seemed, this seemed like a strange amount of detail he's going into. Powers hero, yes, with a true hero, the savior of humanity's future is this tiny fig figurine. Seeing the palm of his hands, a lump of silver metal, barely five centimeters tall. Ah! Oh, it's an Oopa doll. <gasps> oh! oh! Oh my god, no fucking way! No. How? Did I have it with me? It's Miyuri's Oopa that she found and she was so excited about, isn't it? Oh, he points to the screen. Look closer. The lump of metal in Nakabachi's hand. It's not just any lump of metal. <gasps> I knew it! That's my metal Oppo! Look, see there? It has Mishi's name on it! Oh my god, it is! No! How? How did I get it? How did I fall? How did it fall in the folder? Oh! Oh! Because I must have... Wait, wait a minute. No, I I had... Wait, wait. No, I thought I gave it to Miuri though. But I, I ran into Krisu, right? Did I bump into her and I dropped it or something? Did I did I still have it? So me, I, I bumped, I dropped it, and then she picked it up and put it in the folder or something. It was a mascot character in the popular card game Ryan and Axis Battlers. You see you merchandise everywhere in a Kia bar, from capsule toys to phone straps and other accessories. Of all Oopa merchandise, the most rare is the Metal Oopa. The very same Metal Oopa that Nakabachi is presenting to the camera. At the bottom of the bottom of the Metal Oopa, I see cute letters written in bright red and magic marker. The letters read <laughs> oh, you're right. What's he doing with it? I dropped it during the presentation. I looked everywhere, but I, I couldn't find it, so that's where it went. Oh, okay. Maybe then Chris just picked it up? <laughs> I can't get back if it's all the way in Russia. <laughs> Aw, stupid Russians. <laughs> I stare at the screen in disbelief. The body's shaking. Goosebumps break out over inch, every inch of flesh. I know what this is. The butterfly effect. Three weeks ago, Miri dropped her up Metalupa in the assembly hall, Rio Kaiken. A tiny figure figure of mere child so went on to decide the fate of mankind. Rescued the Nakabachi paper from the fire. And so doing it laid the foundation for World War Three. Sua, do you know about this? Sua answers with a look of an apo of apology. Who sent that email from twenty twenty five? Whoever it was clearly meant for us to see the news about Dr. Nakabachi. 
Was it him? Was it was it Okabe? Sorry. Sorry. But what? What's she apologizing for? Sorry for not telling you everything. But we need you to fail once. You had to experience the Kisek Rizu's death firsthand. Oh my god, really? What? You tricked me? Not exactly. It was part of the plan. At least that's what I was told. Told? By whom? Sorry for making you go through that, Uncle. Uncle. Tell me what's going on. See for yourself. See what points to the phone in my hand. Then you'll understand. What are you talking about? The message sure ought to be in your phone. The message you sent from 2025. Oh, I fucking knew it. What? A video mail. What? You received one, didn't you? Ha. Huh. That's right. She's right. I got an attachment. What's that again? Like 28th, right after I met Creasy for the first time. So I was about to contact Mayuri, I received a mysterious video mail from an address I'd never seen before. Oh, is that what she's talking about? Oh, oh, that's right. There's nothing on it. It's just noise. Try again. What? Suzuka grins. Try now. I'd fail and once see Chris Kisi Creasy's life. You should be able to see it. Are you kidding me? What? In the dicks, my brain! Is that even possible? I'm not convinced, but I checked my phone anyway, just to be sure. And there I find a video, save video mail. When I checked the sender's address, I realized this is from the same address as the email just now. So they're from the same person, and this person is me in 15 years. 15 years. 2025, the year I die, according to Zua. I sent this message on the eve of my death, a message to myself in 2010. So we said there was a, a plan to reach Steins Gate. Could that plan be in this video? Yuri and Daro speak over my shoulder. I take a deep breath. And press play with a trembling finger. Nothing appears on the screen but noise. Nothing's changed after all. So hidden message or any... Huh. No suddenly dissolves and revealing the silhouette of a man. Looks like the video was shot somewhere dark. You can see the man's face. A cupped hair, a lab coat. That's all I can make out. Is that you in 15 years? It has to be! Something about him just says Ocarine. Really? Is this guy really me? Oh man, that'd be weird. That'd be tripping balls, dude. Those tiny screens become a window into the future. I can't believe I'm hearing a message from myself. Uh. Did you get my mail? Then go watch the news. If you have, if you ha already have, then keep listening. So that last mail was from him. From me. Does it feel real? Greetings! It's been 15 years, I suppose you could say. Wow, your voice is so deep and cool! <laughs> the year is 2025. I'm sending this message by a process process similar to D-mail. You disassembled the phone, disassembled, dismantled the phone wave. So did I. But not one year after, I, later, I, which is to say you, turn back, turn back to time travel as my last hope. I spent 14 years researching time travel. Along the way, I managed to design a D-mail transmitter that wasn't bound by the 36-byte limit. The fact you're watching this means that you that you failed to save Kurisu. It hurts, doesn't it? I know how you feel. After all, I went through it myself 15 years ago. That's right. I failed too. I've lived with with that failure for 15 years. Do you understand why you had to fail? It was necessary. Necessary to give me the proper motivation. You failed to save Kurisu. You killed her with your own two hands. Your guilt, your self-loathing, has driven me for 15 years. They gave me the, fo the focus I needed to complete my plan. Without your failure, you would not be watching this message now. As you as you know, this world line is subject to tractor field convergence. Time travel alone cannot save Kurisu. That's why you had to fail, to break the chain of causality that linked you to me. Oh, whoa, what the... Uh, okay. Because you failed, I spent the last 15 years researching time travel. As the revelation... Revelations Nakabachi unleashed sped the world's the world towards nuclear war. I continued my research in secret. So it was time machine as a result. Although finishing the finishing touches were Daru's and mine's, its design was based on the theory that CERN first developed. And that Kurisu improved on the world line you undid. Its model number is C204. See for Christina. I believe you understand what that signifies. Now that the causal link has been established, allow me to explain the final stage of the plan. The purpose of this plan is to change the divergence and reach the unknown world called Steins Gate. By the way, I'm the one who named it Steins Gate. You of all people know, know why I chose that name. Ah, I, I see. Okay, I was wondering, like, 
I was like, really? <laughs> I thought it'd make sense. I was like, somebody, I, somebody else called it that? Nope, it was me after all. Because it sounds cool. Isn't that right? <laughs> there are two conditions you must meet to reach Steins Gate. First, you must save Kami Kisikurisu. Second, you must destroy the Nakabachi paper. I know what you're thinking. Convergence won't let you change the past. No matter what you do, Kurisu will die. But rest assured, there is a way. You can save Kurisu. Listen carefully. On July 28th, you first went to Nakabachi's presentation blissfully unaware of what was about to happen. You must not change what the what the first you saw. Those events have been established. They are the result upon which this borderline converges. However, there's room for deception. You don't understand, I know. Calm down, I'll explain. You're going to deceive yourself. The first you saw Karisu lying in a pool of blood. Oh, if you, were if you were to change that fact, it would render everything that you have done since, as well as everything that I have done, a paradox. After finding Karisu's body, you sent a email which was intercepted by Echelon, which tipped off CERN. Recall your expectations on the Alpha World line. You saw more than just Miyuri's death. You saw Karisu alive and well. You made her lab him despite her protests, and together you built the timing machine. It was only three weeks, but she was there. She was there, beside you. Those memories are yours. Those memories are mine. They are the proof that we did not live only on this world line. Where Kurisu died on July 28th. You traveled to the Alpha world line. You met Kurisu and fell in love. You sacrificed the dreams of those closest to you. But still you fought to get Miyuri a future. For three weeks you fought, and now those memories are part of you. If you had not seen Kurisu's body in the hallway of Ryo Kaiken, you would not have sent that first email. Sir would not have found you. When you encountered Kurisu later, you would not have been shocked to see her alive. You would not have spoken the words that you let led her to your doorstep. Without those memories, oh my god. Everything's all according to Aizen's evil dumb plan. You would not be willing to travel through time to save her. I would not have spent my life searching for a path to Steins Gate. I would not have recorded this message. Dara and I would not have completed this time machine, since it would not be staying beside you now. You must not reject the three weeks you spend spent drifting between world lines. You must not you must not undo the past. Those three weeks made you who you are. A man who would do anything to save the woman he loves. And inspiration made me who I am. A man who has given everything to make that dream come true. This moment would not be possible if not for the memories that you and I share. The man you were, try were trying to create, a man who's none of those memories to drive a man with none of those memories to drive could never stand where you stand now. It all meant something. The preparations are complete. The rest is up to you. Final, the final phase of Operation Skull will now commence. Yes, of course, Skull. Your mission: change the outcome without changing established events. I see. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to make Kreisu look like she died. Make it, make it look like that she's dead in the room when I find her. But how, how am I gonna do that? I mean, we, well, we already saw a police tape when we got in here. That means that the police did see that. Am I supposed to get like another dead body? <laughs> change the outcome without changing the established events. Kurisu lying in a pool of blood. That has been established. At the same time, only that has been established. Deceive yourself. Deceive the world. That is a choice which will lead you to Steins Gate. Good luck, mad scientist. L. Sai. Kongru. With that, the video ends. Mary and I tell Miri and Dara look dumbfounded. They obviously understand a single word. I, however. <laughs> <laughs> Laughter bubbles from the depths of my balls. No, not min not minutes ago. I lost lost in despair. I had to kill myself for what I had done, but now I'm laughing. Ha! Ah! Ah! Operation Skull. No second group. <laughs> I'm 33 years old and I still have no shame. To see myself, to see the world. That's such true and mean bullshit. It's pathetic, laughable, a juvenile fantasy. At the same time, it feels right. It feels fucking good. Very well. If this is the choice of Steins Gate, then so be it. I'm the same outside as Yoin Koma. See the world as child's play. It's like I have to change the I I have to change the world after all. Bah! Oh, I thought Akari was finally turning serious, but now he's back to his usual antics. <laughs> Pino Pierce, he likes Okarin better this way. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. Okarin just Okarin just isn't Okarin unless he's laughing like an idiot. <laughs> Yoin Koma say me Yushi, you know. <laughs> this time he'll definitely say Mickey Sigrisu. Uh, deceive the world? What's that supposed to mean? Uh, he doesn't have a clue. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it obvious? The only established fact about the past is, is that I saw Grisu lying in a pool of blood. That's the extent of my observation. Grisu was lying in a pool of blood. As for whether she was alive or dead, that's still open to interpretation. Isn't that right, future me? So I'm gonna go back and, uh, 
This time I'm gonna save her, but again, will there be a third person? There'll be a me, there'll be a third me there, right? I mean, I still have to keep the thing where I went and killed her, right? I, I don't know. <laughs> huh? Mary tilts her head, she doesn't get it. For example, just think of it like this. Because she was merely unconscious and the blood was just a coat of red paint. Oh, is that what happened? Mary's eyes open in a wide, a wide wonder. I get off, she's not going to understand. <laughs> Well, wait a second, the news report all said that she was. What's true now doesn't matter. Only what Uncle, Uncle Ocarine saw on July 28th matters. Really? Really, and that's because I'm not the Okabe Rintar who lived on the Beta World Line after Kreezer died. I traveled to the Alpha World Line and back. And I'm not bound by whatever effect Kreezer's death may have had during that time. Uh, I am not bound by whatever effect Kreezer's death may have had during that time. Oh, okay, that's... A little confusing. What I'm going to do is recreate what I saw, and only what I saw. But this time, I'll do is do it so Kreese who doesn't have to die. Don't forget, you also need to destroy the Nakabach paper. Can you handle it? Who do you think you're walk you're talking to, part-time warrior? Part-time warrior? You've forgotten. I'm the same man side as Yoin Yoma. I swear, all the blank stares of my comrades and brush my hair back, back with a flourish. My plan is flawless. Operation Skull will succeed. I need to prepare. Give me 30 minutes. Sue tightens her expression and nods firmly. Oh my god. Squatting against the roof's chain fits with my eyes closed. To refresh my memory, I pull out the drawers of my mental archive and sort through each file one by one. My actions that day, Miuri's actions, my conversation with Kurisu, Nakabachi's presentation. <laughs> Opa! <laughs> with those memories to guide me, I began to draw up a plan for how to complete my mission. Oh, green! I got the stuff! My eyes was I hear Miuri's voice. It's time. <laughs> Take a deep breath and stand up. Here's fat faster on her feet than Dara and I. So I had to, her pick up some things for me. Is it, okay, here's where I'm sort of confused. How am I going to do this? Am I going to go back and it turns out the other me isn't there? The other me that already time traveled there? Because then that won't make sense to me. That will, that would be a paradox to me. Like, But I feel like it's the only thing that's going to make sense because I, I felt her die in... He felt her die in his arms, right? So it's not like... I don't I can I see how I could fool my other self, but how am I gonna fool the self that had to die in her arms? Is she like I'm gonna run over there with a fucking defibrillator and just like or bandage her up or something? The moment she's lying there dead? He's I mean she's fucking dead already, right? And he and the guy and the guy already took the paper, right? Maybe I go there and find may I can go there and find the Oopla or something and, and grab it, but I don't know. I'm, ho I'm hoping they don't just like throw that out because that would just, to me, would make no sense at all. Uh, uh, so I had to pick up some things for me. She went all the way to the lab, and back in the sultry heat, but she's not even breathing hard. <laughs> God, she's in good shape. She runs to me up, up to me with a triumphant smile. Looks like a playful puppy shaking her tail. <laughs> Here you go. Will this work? In her hand is a plastic stick, about 30 centimeters long. I take it a non satisfaction. Good work, Mary. Uh, he's happy to use a little cream. <laughs> oh, I also brought you this. She hands me a banana. She's telling me to not try to travel on an empty stomach. What's that? A banana! <laughs> it's Miyuji's favorite food in the whole wide world. Aside from juicy chicken number one. No, I mean that stick. It's not a stick, it's a sword. Oh. One of our last many mentions. Future gadget number six, the Asylum Saber. The Asylum Saber? It's a red Asylum glow stick. An essential item for idol and voice actress concerts. <laughs> It's not just a glow stick, it's a safer that, as just as his name implies, so you re re can reenact scenes from, from Spark Wars. <laughs> Relax the classic scenes from Duke by Stalker. <laughs> um, wow! <laughs> Furthermore, it can also form fake blood clots. Attach the cap at the top, and thick blood starts flowing out. I uh, really don't get what you're trying to accomplish when you made this. <laughs> We want to make our, our sword fights more realistic. <laughs> what he means to say is that everything is inevitable. I think I see the plan. You're going to use that asylum stuff as a stain for me case of Grease's blood, aren't you? Precisely. Well, according to Akabe's already plans. I stuff my cheeks with banana. <laughs> raptured by my own genius. <laughs> I truly am a mad scientist. <laughs> Go to Hampshire. Die! Put the asylum saber in my pocket. It's about 30 centimeters long, so it sticks out a little, but I don't mind. It's just my penis. I heard Dara buy me a stun gun earlier. I pocket that too. But this, my preparations are complete. I give Sasua a glance. 
Let's go, Uncle Green, one more time! One more trip to July 28th. There and back, that's all the few we have left. This is our last chance. One shot, one opportunity. This everything you ever wanted. One moment, can you capture it? Let's sweat. Yo, the palms are sweaty, knees weak. Oh, uh, shut up. <coughs> ready? Leave it to me. I will change the world. Well, Sue, into the top of sheet. Did I change up my bloody clothes? <laughs> well, I'm from your return. I asked Sue if there was a chance that I might run into myself from last time. In other words, the me who killed the crease. Yes, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Okay, they're gonna at least explain something here. To reply that wasn't possible. The world line where I killed Kreese is minutely different from the one which the time machine will take us. What? The world line where I killed Kreese is minutely different from the one which the time machine will take us. Time travel has a very small effect on divergence. Much too small to cause any noticeable changes, but enough to ensure that there can never be two versions of the same time traveler. Oh. Oh, that sounds like a that sounds like a a loop plot loophole they did, isn't it? <laughs> that sounds like that sounds a little bit like bullshit to me. <laughs> I don't know. I, but then again, I mean, this whole this whole thing is all concept concepts to begin with, so I suppose I shouldn't really poke too many holes in it. But yeah, I don't know. It, that always seemed like I guess that 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 has become such an established uh, occurrence in time for anything time travel related right that you go back to the past and you know let's say you had time travel to the past already you're gonna time travel again and see your time travel past self or whatever but okay so this one's just saying it's impossible I, okay I, you know what it, maybe it is maybe it is just a, a convenient plot hole or i mean a convenient loophole they tried to to do to exploit this to get to this ending or whatever but at least they acknowledged it at least they didn't just do it it, it just they didn't mention it at all so you know if they at least acknowledge it, I think that should be good enough. So, never did you merge the same time. However, it's important to remember that world lines are not the world lines are not parallel worlds. Also, many tractor field converges and merges them into a single world line. My actions are not meaningless. If I succeed in deceiving both myself and the world, the entire universe will converge upon a different future. Oh, green! Here, it leans through the hatch and gently strokes my cheek. <laughs> Come back, okay? Of course. Turn the smile and give her a thumbs up. Close the hatches door, and Mira sees see me off with words of encouragement. So he's already operating the time machine. Pay the future hangs on this mission. It's up to you. So it speaks as she presses some buttons. I see. So I'm gonna probably. I, I think I know what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna first. I'm gonna find the Upa probably right. Get the Upa so that the so that Nakabachi is still gonna get away with the paper right. I'm gonna get the Upa back. I guess so I'm not gonna stop Nakabachi. I'm not really sure how. I guess I would say I would tase him, but it would knock him out. And, I mean, I, I I guess I could just do that, ta tase him and steal the paper, but I feel like that's not how it's going to happen, because he already talked about the, the, the plane thing. But he somehow I think Nakabachi is going to get away with the paper, but I'll have the Upa with me so it won't go off the thing and it goes off the plane. But I think I'm also going to, I might also, I, I don't know if I can convince Carissa to do this, so I'm probably going to tase her, right? Lay her unconscious in the room with the blood. And then, uh, yeah, okay. It's back, it's for food, two weeks for Pressing some buttons. Count on you, Uncle. It's up to you to save the future from yourself. Instead of answering, I close my eyes. I find myself strangely calm. No patience, no tension, none of the anxiety I felt the first time. Which comes by tasted failure. My heroes hurt those close to me. My fools just cost them their dreams. Even though those mistakes have been undone, the memory still remains as, as a brand on my heart. You must not reject the three weeks you spent drifting between world lines. You must not undo the past. It all meant something. Every mistake, every sacrifice. Without them, I would not be standing here now. With that knowledge, I draw strength, confidence, and pride. Memories I shoulder deserve nothing less. And so, I am no longer afraid. I'll reach the unknown world line, Steins Gate. It is a fu its future is uncertain, but that is how it should be. For once, I need not worry that what state of fate has in store. The one thing matters now, saving Kreisu. Let's do this shit. Gravity pulls at my back. Rainbow light starts dripping through the, car through the compartment. It's time. This is my Ragnarok. This is my moment of fucking demon truth. I'm gonna fuck Nakabachi with this fucking lightsaber thing. <laughs> I'm gonna pull down his bridges and go. Bah! I exit the time machine onto the familiar rooftop. So before it's empty, I can see the top of the train station a short distance away. It's the third time I've been here now. Or the plane plan in my head one last time. I'm a short, but I have no choice. I have to do it. No, I will do it. There isn't an option. Alright, shoot my gun again. Wait for Sue to break the lock, then I run inside just like last time. 
Nearly avoiding the first me again, I ascended to the seventh floor. Last time I went all the way down to the fourth floor, but not this time. I direct my attention to the capsule toy machine near the landing. It's time for step one. Right at character doll series. Zit. Only July on July 28th, the first me won a super rare metal Oopa from this very machine. I'm trying to waste. I insert the 100 gem coin I prepared beforehand and turn the lever hard. Capsule coin falls in the slot. So I grab it. Look, find it! <laughs> my heart leaps in my throat. That's Miyuri's voice. She's already here. Quickly turn and leave the area before Miyuri can see my face. Luckily, she see, she's so entranced by the capsule toy machine that she doesn't realize who I am. Once I get down to the fourth floor, I check the contents of the capsule. There it is, you little fucker! The metal lupa is inside. Because we knew that we were the... I, well, I don't know, I, I guess... This is a bit of an assumption on our part, but... Well, no, no, he... He did No, he went there... So he, he got there a little earlier, right? So he got there just right before we used that machine. So he knew that the, the thing that exact would fall out, because... I mean, there's no real, like, right way to... I mean, when you turn the thing, it's not like you can turn it differently, right? Whatever is there is going to be the thing to pop out next. The loop is inside. Surprise, it was meant for me. Which means, which means the first me will get... The answer's obvious. Phase one is complete. Time for phase two. I will get a plastic thing. I turn around abruptly. Ha! As you stand behind me, her mouth opened in surprise. My timing was perfect. <laughs> hey, you just came around from the... Eh? I'm going to save you. Leave everything to me. What? I say no more. If I tell her everything, she'll have no reason to talk to me. Talk to the first of me. July 28th, she came to she came to me during Nakamachi's presentation. She claimed that I tried to tell her something, then proceeded to drag me out into the hallway for further questioning. It's part of my experience. It should be enough to ensure that I happen that it happens exactly as I remember. Right. Okay. Exactly. Okay. It, she wants to. So he's he's going in front of her to be like like. Look at my god! Look at me! Look at my god! Wow! <laughs> look at me! Come after me! Come engage in kind of conversation with me later. I got you. I pack Reese on the shoulder, then race back upstairs. Bye. Wait. I run to the sixth floor, then creep up towards the seventh floor, landing it until I can make out just make out the tapsel toy machines. There's the first me about to turn the lever and let Miri stead. Ah, Jin Oopa! Is it rare? It's not rare, but isn't it just so cute? Me usually loves Oopa. <laughs> okay, so she's getting one of the other ones which were made of plastic, right? I grinned at myself. It works. The order changed. Miri now has a regular Oopa, not the metal one I gave her the first time. And that means... Thank you all for coming to Dr. Magic's Time Machine Pres Press Conference! Presentation's about to begin. First, me heads up to the eighth floor, but here it doesn't move. She takes out a pen and starts right signing this Oopa. Just as planned. Nakabachi defected to Russia on the 20 August 24th. He had me Metal Miuri. Miuri. <laughs> metal. Metal Miuri. <laughs> Miuri's Metal Oopa with him. Like, I'm like Metal Mario, but Metal Miuri. <laughs> he has hit me a whole bunch before he can knock me out of the arena. If he has a plastic one instead, it should change the fate of the Nakabachi paper. But one question remains How exactly did Miuri's Oopa fall into the Nakabachi's hands? Have we figured that out? I watch Samira finish signing her name. She's not satisfaction and runs after the, after the first me. Just before she gets to the stairs, she puts the Oopa into her coat pocket. But it doesn't go all the way in. As she runs up the stairs, I see it fall out and roll away. Ah, um, Miri is completely oblivious. A moment later, she disappears from sight. Look at the Oopa lying on the floor. Does like, Nakabachi oh, pick it up? How? He's in the middle of his presentation upstairs. He doesn't have any opportunity. Nope. Karisu finds it. And that's why... She that's why when she opened the thing in her, her folder, she smiled. Although, honestly, that's a bulky thing to have in a, a folder with just, like, what? A thing of paper? Just a piece of paper? You think the person would be like, what is this thing in here? <laughs> they would, like, feel it on the outside. That's when Kreese, who comes up from downstairs, quickly hiding the stairwell across the landing. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Cool. Oh, she was like, oh, sweet. Kreese reaches the seventh floor without noticing me. She finds the fallen Oopa and picks it up. So it's Kreese who found the Oopa, the butterfly effect. Three weeks, this completely innocuous event changes the outcome of an accidental fire on what must on what must be thousands of planes flying that day. By extension, it changes the fate of the entire human race. This plastic fucking Oopa. Kreese looks curiously at the Oopa, then looks around as if searching for the owner. Of course, Kreese doesn't know who Muri is. 
this point in time, those two aren't even equated, equated yet. N After realizing there's no one around, Krizu puts the Oopa under her envelope and goes up to the gate floor. Now that I've seen what I need to see, I go upstairs at two and head to the employee hall. Time to chase a bitch. <laughs> Okabe's gonna chase a bitch. Bah! Here's when it, when it, where it gets serious. I, get, I grip the asylum saber and shake it silently, thus activating the red fluorescent reaction inside. It'll last about 10 minutes. It should get dim before Kurisu makes her appearance. I know what I need to do. The problem is that my window of opportunity is so slim. Will I be able to handle the enraged Dr. Nab Nakabachi? If I'm mistaken, Kurisu will die. What are you afraid of, Yoin Kyoma? Everything's going according to plan. Our operation skull is flawless. You spent 15 years perfecting it, remember? Believe in yourself. Believe in Yoin Kyoma. Yoin Kyoma will save Kurisu. Yo and Kuyoma is a fucking Super Saiyan. I close my eyes and wait for the time to come, hidden behind the same pile of cardboard boxes as last time. I hear the sound of sparse applause from the event hall, which means I should be hearing footsteps soon. Hi there! And there they are. Greasy has come right on time. She leans against the wall and looks inside her envelope, smiling softly as she does. And now another reason behind that smile, yep. The little Oopa friend. It's the Oopa inside. She's probably smiling at how adorable it is. The smile really doesn't suit you, Grisu. <laughs> I stifle a chuckle. <laughs> bah! Who's that? Ah, oh, fuck, I fucked it up. <laughs> I'm surprised I'm calm enough to feel that way, despite the current situation. Once Dr. Nama Nakabachi appears, as my signal to spring to action. I'll, I'll bring out the asylum saber as soon as that bastard tries to take out his knife. And then I'll scare, scare him away and stun Grisu. The stun gun I brought should handle both tasks flawlessly. What would that? Why would the thing with? Why would that scare him? <laughs> Ooh, glowy stick in your face! Oh my god, what's that? Oh my god! Oh, it's a lightsaber! I'm gonna die, right? <laughs> I don't think. What? How that's gonna scare him? I, I was thinking he was like stun him maybe, or but if he was knocked out, then honestly he could just grab the paper and burn it that way. But then that that would kind of fuck other things up, right? That's the plan at least. I'd be nervous as fuck. I'd be like, like dude, you get fucked this up. I mean, except like footsteps echoes down the hallway. Chris looks up. Can't see Nakabachi, but I know it's him. Hi there. I want to talk. <laughs> like, blah, 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 blah. I move my lips even when I ellipses. Are you listening, Papa? In the words she speaks are the same. What is that? I heard you're giving a presentation on time travel, so I thought about it too. Could it be possible to make a time machine? The atmosphere is far from pleasant. Nakabachi doesn't even try to hide his displeasure. For some, and the first me is probably at fault for that, at least partially. Looks like it's about time for Nakabachi to go, Nakabachi to go ballistic. I grip the asylum saber and make one final check. It's already dimmed down. All I have to do is remove the cap at the tip and then fake blood wool. What? Huh? My breath catches in my throat. In the darkness of my hiding spot, I, I bring the asylum saber close to my eyes and peer inside. The fake bl blood has begun to coagulate. Uh-oh. No, this shouldn't happen. Well, certainly the liquid wouldn't, would remain fluid for around 30 minutes after losing luminescence. Is it effective? Come to think of it, we never tested this item. Are you serious? It's going to be used, for, used once before the tube needs to be replaced. Given the last financial situation, we thought it would be a waste to use it, so we never did. How could I fail to consider this possibility? If I had half a brain, it I would have brought a spare. It's bad. The plant's falling apart. I wasn't shunned! <laughs> Nagabachi's shrill, shr shrill streak startles me. Ah! <laughs> Those incompetent bastards were just jealous of my superiority. I was the one who gave up on them. Police don't yell. Time will stop. Stop for me. How to recover from the setback. I can't leave. Nagabachi's about to attack his daughter. If I make my appearance after that, I'll be, it'll be the same as last time. I end up killing Kurisu again. No matter. I can't let that happen. What do I do? Do I go back to the time machine and try again? No, remember what Suzuka said? We're all out of fuel. We're all out of fuel, dum dum. It's not enough fuel for another trip. It's my last chance. Um, we haven't seen each other in a while. There's nothing I want to talk about. You're living in Ayamoria right now, right? Now, right? Leave. Eh? Go back to America. Never you show your face to me again. But you want you want my opinion? We'll submit it jointly. You don't mean any of that. I know how you think. My heart's pounding. I'm sweating like crazy. It feels like I've just run a marathon. I my mouth to express the sound of my breathing. This is pity. How dare you? You're supposed to be my daughter. I, 
I don't understand. Please calm. I am calm. Don't tell me what to do. You suck my balls. <laughs> Frosty's about to snap. Even events are proceeding just like last time, barrel, barreling inexorably towards disaster. Please, I find myself begging. Make time stop. Make another voice from within answer. Uh, before another voice from within answers. Are you praying, Hilling Kilma? Have you forgotten? I'll tell you why I called you here today. I want to show you my research. Research beyond it, beyond even what you can imagine. I want to prove once and for all that you are nothing compared to me. Change the future. Deceive the world. The brand of the lab coat ruined everything. I know you were laughing at me too. Don't you deny it. How dare you treat your own father this way? I wasn't. You want my opinion? Fine, I'll give it to you. I'm going to publish it myself in a discussion. Okay. I won't court the mercy of a heartless god. I will save Kurisu myself. She won't die again. Not at my hands. Not at anyone's. You're stealing it? What did you say? You're stealing my work? I didn't think even you would do something like... Ow! Agachi strikes Kurisu in the cheek. Who do you think you're talking to? Starting. Rachi puts his hands around Kreese's neck. Her cries of agony fill my ears. Still a way to prevent Kreese's death. The puddle of blood I saw beneath Kreese's body. There's one more way to reproduce it. One more way. One last chance. It's gambled, to be sure, but even if, it's, even if it succeeds, I don't know what effect it might have on the Steins game world. The Steins game world. What am I gonna do? Cut myself or something? Uh, uh. You can't possibly understand how I feel. Why do you have to be so talented? I detest you. I hate your very existence. Nobody is allowed to be better than me, understood? Nobody, especially not my own daughter. That's why I abandoned you. I couldn't bear the shame of being your father. It's all your fault. It's all your fault. The matter's not. I am Yon Kyoma, the matter scientist who defies God. My true desire is chaos. I have no need for, for a predetermined future. <laughs> Stop! In the name of love! The dicks is, who are you? Tell me to step out from my hiding spot. Nagawachi looks at me in disbelief. His eyes are wide and bloodshot. You! You're the brat who ruined my presentation! Nagawachi, let's go with Kurisu. Uh. How dare you show your face before me? Why does everyone get in my get in my way? I know you. You and Kurisu planned this, didn't you? Didn't you? You brats won't get away with this. Nagawachi pulls out the knife from his pocket. His blade reflects cold steel. Once I see, I see that glint, I laugh disdainfully. Try it if you dare. You. Who are you? My name is Yo Inkyoma. <laughs> what? <laughs> Yo for Phoenix, then in, and finally the terrible truth that must never be revealed. Yo Inkyoma. I am the bringer of chaos, the destroyer of order, and I am the one who will end your ambition. <laughs> she staggers to her feet with her hand to her neck. Run away! Never! I dismissed Kurisu's plea and instead turned to Nakabachi with my arms spread open wide. What's wrong, Dr. Nakabachi? Aren't you going to kill me? Or have you lost your nerve? Of course, a mere mortal can never slay a god, says I. Ah! You little. Nakabachi goes into a frenzy, charged me with a knife point first. Yep. He's gonna let him cut him so he can get the blood for it. But how. <laughs> He's gonna let him kill him? I mean. No, Papa, stop! I imagine he's completely lost his mind. I can see in his eyes. He won't stop. And if he won't stop, then I'll stop him. My own body. You can't kill me. You're nothing. Die! The knife approaches. His point glit. Goes missing in the dim light. Just away. I don't move a muscle. It's my last chance. I'll do whatever it takes. Ow! Ow! Right out of my balls! No! Fuck! Oh, fuck! This is a bad idea! Ah! Ah! Oh no! Babies, no! I wanted to make babies with Kurisu! Fuck! It was a dumb idea! No! Why did you stab me in the dick, bro? Why? Ah! Ha! ha. In your face, loser! Nah! See you nerds later! Ah! <laughs> ah, damn it! Gah! Ha! Ah! This pain throbs through... Th rips through my pain rips through my abdomen through the cold steel sink into my body he did it he stabbed me with a knife I killed Karisu pain flares feels like my insides are being torn out okay okay hurting a lot 
Chewbacca yanks it out the knife. Blood gushed from the open wound. <laughs> the iron taste of blood spreads throughout my through my mouth. Pain threatens to steal away my consciousness. My body's on fire. My vision blurs. I struggle desperately to stay on my feet. Did you kind of like, I don't know, put your arm out and try to, I mean, I mean, it was some blood, right? Well, it's a pool of blood, so it's like, fuck, what do you do? I mean, am I going to sacrifice myself? Oh, man. He's gonna, is Akabe going to die or something by the end of this? So I'll definitely stay on my feet. Now who's laughing? Ha! <laughs> That's what you get for mocking me. Ha! <laughs> I whip out the stun gun and switch it on. The electric arcs crackle to life inches away from Naga Nagabachi's face. He easily turns pale. <laughs> but fuck you! I, I'm going to chase the fuck out of you, old man. Now you've done it. I spear him with my glare and take a step forward. A wave of nausea surges over me. Let's fuse from my throat. Ooh. But I don't look away. I keep my eyes fixed on Nakabachi. You regret this, old man. I'm going to kill you. Huh. <sighs> you and the girl. I'll kill you both. Don't move. She runs up to me. She holds me and supports my body. Lie down. I'll call an ambulance. What's she doing? Trying to help me. Did she hear me threaten to kill her? <laughs> You're too soft hearted for a Sundere. I was trying to save Miri. You were the only, always the one who saved me. So this time, I'm going to save you. What? <laughs> Ow! <coughs> Chrissy convulses. Strength leaves the legs she's used, she used to support me. She collapses. Uh, ow. <laughs> that was a sound effect they used. What? <laughs> I'm sorry. I send her my silent apology. I'll be sure to have my way with your daughter before I kill her. But first, it's you, Nakabachi. Mwahaha! Huh? Nakabachi tosses his knife, knife away with a pitiful cry. <laughs> Screw this! He takes a step back, two steps back. I'm gonna taste the fuck out of you, old man. Then I'm gonna, then I'm gonna, then I'm gonna fucking molest you so good. <laughs> More does the trick. Nagabashi turns the fleas down the hallway towards the elevator. But first, he makes sure to pick up the envelope Krisu dropped. How shrewd of him. Ha! Ha! All according to Akame's painful plans. I touch my wound. Ah! Ah! Yeah! Last touch since pain through coursing in my body. I fall to my knees. I feel faint. Bleeding will stop. Blood is starting to pool on the floor. Push my hands to the, into the blood. Still not enough. I'm sure my stomach, wet and glistening with blood. Ew! I stick my fingers in there and rip it open like, ah, there we go. I start pulling out my intestines. I'm like, here we go. And squirting blood out, out the intestines like, eh, eh. It's like a, it's like one of those super soakers. Eh, woo. Shooting, shooting my blood on the balls, the ceiling. And I'm like, woo hoo, woo, woo. Sorry. <laughs> Take a breath and drive my fingers into the wound. Gah. The pain is like nothing I've ever experienced. I'm able to, to bear it, I throw my head back. Ha! Scream until my throat is raw. Ugh! Can stop now. Fighting against the urge to faint, I stre feed strength in my hands and pull the, the wound wider. Ew! Ew! Why? No, fuck, dude. He's gonna die, isn't he? There's no way. Ew! <laughs> my blood paints the floor crimson. Uncle Uncle Reed! So it runs up to me. That boom, what, what happened? What were you thinking? If you die, if we fail. <sighs> Uncle? Forget who you're dealing with, Suzua. Look at the floor. Notice anything? The floor? Yeah, that should be enough blood. What you think? Looks down and beholds my masterpiece. Pool of blood? See myself. See the world. Stage is set. But Uncle, you'll die. Yeah, there's no way I'm going to die. Who do you think I am? I'm the same mass as Joe and Kilma. Oh, I don't think it's actually going to matter, though, will it? It's not actually going to matter at all, because whether this one dies or not, because this one will vanish, right? If, it, if the timeline converges from here, like we plan, I'll be back to my normal self. Because the, the world on it came back to will actually have Grace to be alive. Uncle. Verge holds, and it's already determined that I don't die. Not here. I die in 2025. It's a fixed vent on the beta world line. That was my bet. 
I intentionally provoked Nakabachi to rage. I took the knife meant for Kreese and survived. The wound gave me what I needed to carry out the plan. Though I have to admit, I didn't think it would hurt this much. <laughs> so telling will happen when we reach Stein's Gate. Future what the Warline is still we're still that uh, Warline is still undecided. There's no reason I can't include my death. How ironic. I made a bet based on the guarantee that I wouldn't die, but winning that bet makes death a very real possibility. Twist my lips into a smile. Time to put the finishing touch on my masterpiece. Sua, get Kurisu. Ah, okay. Sua picks up the unconscious Kurisu. She lays her face down on top of my blood puddle. She doesn't. She doesn't wake up. She's perfectly still. She's definitely breathing. I stroke her hair gently. Did it hurt? I'm sorry, but I had to do it to save you. Even those, th even though those three weeks will never come back. I want you to live. If we reach Stein's Gate, if Krisu lives, if I don't die, we'll never meet again. Krisu will never join the lab. We never build the time machine together. But still, I'm glad I was able to save her. Goodbye. Please stay unconscious for a while. I need you to see the first me. While Sua goes to pick up the knife, I use the, I use the wall to climb to my feet. Mission complete. Return to base. Making blood all over my cushions. <laughs> oh, excuse me. It's crazy, Uncle. You're insane. Sane? Nonsense. This is all according to plan. <laughs> Don't talk. I'll take you back to Twonk's 21st. Try to endure the G's, okay? Damn, I should have brought first aid kit. I feel pressure crush on my crush my body. My wound throbs. I feel like groaning by bite my lip and bear it. Rainbow light fills my vision. Time machine's activating. So he wraps my wound with a towel. Ankle, I'm sure Stansky is waiting for us on the other side. Where will nothing is known? Where anything is possible. Where will you live? Where Makisa Krisu lives? Where Shino Miyuri lives? Where where I have no reason to travel to 2010. Future may still lead to World War III. May lead to dystopia rule by Sir. Someone's warm hand grasps mine. Tightly. Tightly. But now there's hope for the future again. Slowly so close my eyes. It's hard to breathe. My pain feels distant now. Once we arrive, I'll probably disappear. Won't be able to thank you for being bring me to Stasky. So I'll save it now. Or with her hand slowly fades away. Thank you, Uncle. Don't die. Live. In seven years, let's meet again, okay? Uh, it's time to go home. You're in rear and Daru awaiting. Uh and with them, the future that has yet to be written.
And we have now entered. Hey, this isn't the world. I thought this. I thought we were gonna go to negative something or other. She went lock up in the Steins Gate. Oh god, there's still more. Thank God. I was like, it's like don't just end there. It's been a month since then. No one was deep enough to require surgery. If I'd been just an hour late getting to the hospital, I would have died from blood loss. Oh my god, seriously? Oh my. He so he did survive. I thought for sure when he like went back, it would uh, just everything would change and. He would, like, fade away, and then the other copy would take his place or something. The la doctor laughed as he told me this. Hilarious. They've been cooped up in the hospital for so long. It's exciting to be walking around Akiba again. Look around to see if Akiba's any different from what I remember, but nothing catches my eye. I just get the feeling that there are more shop there are more Moe shops than before. The, mystery of diver the Mysteries of Divergence. I chuckle myself, then dig into my pocket. Something jingles. There are metal pins inside. Eight of them. Hey! To use your ga gadget laboratory member badges. They're designed based on the pins Zuo brought from the future. And the two didn't fall off this time. <laughs> the bottom of it didn't. Which world lines? Which world lines? Suzuo was that again? Anyway, back then we all searched over key, all over Kiba for that pin. While I was in the hospital, I thought well, it was the perfect opportunity to ask Dara to have them made. And of course, the one we had commissioned to make. Make them was the shady store, foreign street vendor. Ah, <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you want some? You want shady pin? I got shady pins on at the wazoo. Dude, that guy. That guy was the best character in this fucking game. <laughs> Foul practice slightly different from Zuo's, but it's pretty well done. Pass through the archway of Yanabashi Shrine, head to the courtyard. There, brandishing a sword with some blind dignity, stands Amiko. Miko so lovely that anyone would doubtless stop to stare. But that's not Miko, and that's not a real sword. The sword is a 980 yen imitation. And that beautiful Miko is a guy. Lukaku lifts his head at the sound of my footsteps. Oh, got me, son! As soon as our eyes meet, he runs up to me in a fluster. His eyes are already wet with tears. <laughs> Lukaku cries so frequently. Like, <laughs> you were discharged today? Yeah. But I'm sorry. I didn't know anything about it. Of course you didn't. I didn't tell you. But I'm glad you're okay. So happy. And she start, then he starts crying in earnest. Seeing his tears, I feel an urge to pat his head and tell him everything will be alright, but I resist inside instead. Aw, oh, come on. <laughs> Give him a big hug, big old hug. 
I hear you are a natural at your cosplay debut. I hear you even have a fan club. <laughs> you filled me in on the situation. After years of persistent nagging, she finally convinced Lukaku to cosplay near the end of the summer break. Ah! Wasn't time for Komi Bob, but he wore one of Miara's costumes to a cosplay event in early September. His cosplay de debut was effective. <laughs> Dozens of photographers took his picture, and the images soon went viral, viral on the net. Try to look up pictures of Lukaku now, and you'll get tons of it. Tons of hits. Tons of, tons of penis. He's sworn by fans, and since he's what they call a trap, he's popular with girls, too. <laughs> There's some things in this world I just don't understand. To be honest, it's so confusing. You know, I still haven't had the pleasure to see you cosplay in the flesh. I, I just can't. If a comic comes over to see me, I get so embarrassed I die. You had fun, didn't you? That's what Miri said. Yes. You've grown up like Akko. He's overcome... He's overcome his feelings of inadequacy and accepted himself for who he is. And even had fun doing it. Akami, I mean, kill my son. He still thinks of sit the sections on my style you taught me. I clear my mind of all mundane thoughts. He truly is a worthy disciple. But you must not grow complacent. Your next objective is to ascend to the true, ascend to the true form of the section Zama style. Once you master it, the, the flames of evil with it, evil seal within you will have nothing left to burn. The moment will mark the beginning of the legend of Ur Urshabara Luka, guardian of the Mika, guardian Mika of the members of the Personapolis of Akihabara. Um, what exactly will this legend be about? I shall tell you at the proper time. <laughs> when I can think of it, when I can think of a good story, a backstory to it. Reach in my pocket and take out a pin. Lab number number six, Urshabara Ur Luka. I grant this unto you. Luka, Lukaku nervously accepts the pin with a confused expression. Um, uh, when did I become a lab man? It's a memory from beyond the veil of time. Your past life, I suppose you could say. My past life? You've been a lab man from the moment you were born. Be proud. It's not an exaggeration. It's the truth. <laughs> Kaka most likely doesn't remember. But it's okay. If I'm the only one who does. You don't like it? <laughs> no, it's just... I'm really happy. Oh, <laughs> 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 it's okay. Uh... You're my, you're still my little buddy. You're my little buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Starts crying again. I always want to be part of your lab. I wanted to be one of you, but I never had the courage to ask. Thank you so much. He bows his head. Aw, yay! It's a precious artifact. Only eight of them exist in the entire world. It's a magic item that protects you from all ca calamity. Really? N no. <laughs> so don't lose it. <laughs> he said. He says in his head. <laughs> I won't. Kaku nods with a joyful smile on his face. Too cute. Nick. Huh. Welcome back, Miaster. Pass through Mia Queen's door for the first time forever. First runs over to greet me. <gasps> Kiyoma. She suddenly links arms with me. First, I get a little flustered when something soft touches my elbow. But then I break into a cold sweat once I feel the the murderous glares of the surrounding Ferris fans. Ah, I'm gonna kill that fucker. Ah. They let you out of the hospital, yeah? Yeah, I managed to claw my way out, my way out of hell. Tear Ferris off of me and take a deep breath. <laughs> Precisely what I expected from the Yoin bloodline. The name of the undying thing is just isn't for show, yeah. I see she's still making up her own backstories for people. Why was the mind that this crazy cat girl is behind the redevelopment of Ikea Barra? Hey, the world's just messed up. <laughs> me, me, she has the day off, yeah. I know. Shows me to my table where I order iced coffee. Oh, right, we decided to open a second Mega Queen location, yeah? It's right on Chewador, yeah? Is that awesome, yeah? Don't think you're abusing your authority as the redevelopment committee chair. Just a little. No doubt the recent explosion of Moe shops are doing. I think she's just getting a little carried away. This is my sacred duty, yeah? I must spread holiness wherever I go, yeah? Now is the time to summon all the powers of Moe to this holy land in preparation for their offensive, yeah? What? They're going to attack. Do the awakening curl while I was in the hospital. <laughs> That's right, yeah. They took your absent. This is their opportunity, yeah. We'll, we will be able to. Will we be able to complete the mo the modification of Akiba when they before they hatch? That's the only way to defeat them. Better wasting his time, yeah. Ferris also fought in the right at AB tournament to gather karma, but it was really tough by myself, yeah. What the hell does she mean by karma? <laughs> Last month, Ferris to start participating right at Axis Battle tournaments. Ferris, the chairman of the Kia Bar Redevelopment Project, a high school student. A popular waitress at a maid cafe, the president of a company founded by her father, and the head of the Kia family. She, she'd be incredibly busy, but I guess she can't stay away from Rhinet forever. Anyway, she went to her very first official tournament and snatched a dramatic victory. Ferris seemed more cheerful than usual now. 
It's all it takes to feel filled is to do things you like to do. I need your mad scientist powers to stop them, yeah. If you make them into, if they make it into the town, they'll make, they'll make the, the place their litter box. <laughs> I guess I have no choice. If it comes to this, then I too must fulfill the, co the covenant. Oh yeah, take this with you. <laughs> oh yeah, you're half a bed. Yeah? Take the pen out of my pocket and present to Ferris. This is, where did you get this, Kioma? During my stay in the hospital. So you overcome, you've overcome the test of the heart, yeah. You truly are a great man, yeah. I don't like what's going on, so let's just nod for now. This belongs to you, Lab Mem number seven. Whenever you need my help, just hold that pin and speak the incantation, Lo ya, lo yo das des hala. Lo yo das des mel da, do da pipa do. Hmm. <laughs> wait, wait, no, wait, what, what, what's, what's Yoda say? No, that, that's the sound he makes, right? Like, like, hmm? Hmm. Be worthy you are. <laughs> learn, the, learn the ways of horniness, you shall. Ferris and I smile at each other. And then we high five. Pacha! Thanks, Nya. The future gadget laboratory is the hope of Akiba, Nya. Can I come over and visit you? Of course you can. Dara will be glad to see you. I get back to the lab. I start to find an unexpected visitor. Ah! <laughs> I get. <laughs> I gotta freak out when I see Nine now. <laughs> I'm too used to seeing you and your, your. Your crazy form scarred me for life. I'm Weka. Yo, Kabe! Out of the hospital already? Hey, look, I'm not dead! And I'm still bald. And Diesel. Uh, yeah. Those of you go and I are staying out in front. Kiryu Mika is with them. The Rounders who killed Miri on another world line. Nai hides behind her father when she sees me, like usual. Oh, oh yeah, let me introduce ya. Don't she indicates, indicates Moeka with his chin. Sorry today, this girl's gonna work part-time at my place. Ha! Ah, you're into the new part-timer. Moeka bows her head. She's on as always, but at least she's not holding her phone. I guess that's some improvement. <laughs> Doesn't talk much, but don't let it bother you. Don't worry, Shining Finger and I know each other already. Shining Finger? Who's that? <laughs> look how terrified Nai looks as a... <laughs> Nai, turn to something else that looks look like you're fucking terrified. <laughs> Point to Moika. Shining Finger, that's the name of our Esper power. <laughs> to know, Doji and Moika ignore me completely. <laughs> he helped me look for an IBM 5100. I gotta thank you email from her during my stay at the hospital. That email helped me figure out our that our that our relationship on this world line. Oh. Oh, that Richard PC you were talking about. Did you find one? Mega shakes her head. Well, this is an urban legend. Why did you decide to, why did you decide to work here? Wait, so is Tenoji still FB then? He would be, right? And he's still looking for the the IBM 5100 too? For CERN, I guess? So yeah, I guess, he, I guess they all still work for CERN, what, won't they? Does Noji tell her who he, who he is? The Moika wasn't supposed to know FB's true identity. I brought her. Mariah speaks up in a tiny voice. I introduced her to Daddy. I see, so you're a matchmaker, huh? Hey, numbskull, there's only two things I love in this world. Bra and tubes and my little girl. D daddy Besides, it's more like the other way around. After knife... After knife feeling got hurt, this girl gave her a first aid and brought her all the way back here. I didn't know Moika had such a gentle side. Since she was unemployed, I decided to give her a job as thanks for helping my girl. Never thought our store would hire a part-timer. You hired one just last month. Huh? You hired your painkillers, kid? I never had help before. Ah, of course. So I worked here with was the Suwa of Alpha War Line. Suwa came from the future world ruled by CERN. Current world line has a different future, so she didn't come. The time she spent here never happened. Well, in that case, good luck to you, Moika. It's a perfect opportunity. I took out a pen in my pocket and handed to Moika. Um. Oh, now you're flirting? Don't, worry, don't mess around with my part-timer. <laughs> Can I mess around with anybody? No. <laughs> I'm all watching and all knowing. I am bald, cl Mr. Clean. Actually, Mr. Clean was bald too, so I'm just Mr. Clean. Pen it is proof that you are lab member number five. The lab is on the second floor. Come by whenever you feel like it. Moika stares at the pen in her hand. But I can't help you look for an IBM 5100 or more, okay? Don't be like that. Help her out, will ya? I can't. I'm a busy man, and I don't feel like fucking the future anymore. <laughs> Gets the attention of the rounders again. No thanks. Yeah, really. Besides, three of them are better off if we never find an IBM 5100. I think a conversation with a shrug and head to the stairs. Come coon Moika calls my name. I back to see Moika smiling ever so faintly. Thank you for this. I feel like I learned something today. 
Yeah, <laughs> sure you did. <laughs> Just don't come and kill Miuri and me in our sleep. Okay, bye! <laughs> the hatred I once felt towards them is gone. I forgave Moika and Tenoji both. Now that I've destroyed both, destroyed our, I've destroyed our time machine, we can go back to being good neighbors. Like State Farm. All pride to our secret lives, and I won't attempt to fight them either. It's all up to them. However, affection that I show towards Moika brings an undeniable warmth to my heart. Yay! Because <laughs> now the warlock sheep murder the fuck out of Moika. She fucked her shit up. I was walking to the lab, I'm greeted by the chiming of a microwave oven. Hey! Oh, green! Yushi smiles brightly. She takes her juicy chicken number one out of the microwave. You just combine welcome back and ocarine. Mm. Yep, I said it before, remember? The Marius holds out a steaming chicken. Well, some too, I'll give you one to celebrate your homecoming. I accept the, the gift of chicken and pop it under my mouth. I guess it's because I've had nothing but crappy hospital food for a month, but it's so delicious I want to cry. <laughs> this chicken is amazing! <laughs> Where'd you get that microwave? Which symbol of the phone wave near such a change weeks ago. Oh, that was me. Or pops out of the development room and all is all his Rotong glory. Wonder if he's making a new feature gadget. He bought it. I found it, duh. It was a pain to repair. It's kind of old, but it still works. That's a super hacker. Now let's keep up the pace and make that next feature gadget. That reminds me. Oh great, I'm mad at you. <laughs> what? Mary suddenly points out, puts on a pout. <laughs> Why did you leave the hospital without telling me, Yushi? He went all the way to the hospital to pick you up, but the nurse said you'd already left. I was one hot nurse. I wish I was hospitalized instead of ocarine. Oh my god. Oh! She can inject me with her needles anytime. I you think you're my guardian now, Miuri? Huh? You certainly some come up in the world. Have you forgotten? I'm the one who protects you. I even helped you with your diaper! <laughs> god. <laughs> I couldn't move it all off the operation, so my mother and Miuri made the great effort of coming to care for me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Your duty! Especially Miri, even though it was her summer break, she visited me every day. I'm grateful for a childhood friend of mine, from the bottom of my heart. She's a dis, to be sure. It seems like she always needs someone to look for her, out for her. She's actually quite tough for her age. You got your childhood friend to change your diaper? <laughs> I'm jealous, man. What a rogue is that for? <laughs> ew! 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 No, dude! Ew! That's gross! Yeah, man, I'm into duty, dude. Duty turns me on so good. Mm. <laughs> Make the duty rain! <laughs> Poo poo all the way across the sky. Whoa. I think Dar needs to die for a bit. <laughs> wow, yeah, Dar, why didn't you die in any of the world lines? I would have been okay if you had, if you had died. I don't know. I'm just too fucking horny to die. Pop me on the head. I'll buy you some juicy chicken number one later. <laughs> really? Thanks, Oprah. It was worth it to help you after all. <laughs> <laughs> wow, she recovered fast. Breathe another sigh of relief when I see Muriel's innocent smile. Is he still alive? I've seen her die countless times. The events of those war lines have been undone. My struggle to keep them, keep, escape them, was not in vain. If the thing, if that, if the thing, same thing happened again, what would I do? Would I accept her death this time? Or would I try again to save her? Even meant building another time machine. There's no way to know. The future is undecided. You better not die, Miyuri. All right. I wish so much trouble to shave your little bugger head. You're my favorite character in this game. All right. I love you. But now Miyuri's here. And that means everything to me. Yay! Here, take these. Give me your and Dar with their pin. It's so cute! Nice! They're finally, they're finally done! Your pins the badge to your chest and shows it off with a, a pirouette. Gotta be sure to put this on every day, or else I won't be led to the lab. Nobody really made that rule, but whatever. <laughs> but you know, there's like I've been meaning to ask you about the pin. What's that? The description, right? It says OSN. OSHMKUFA 2010. Akami Shina Shina. Shina. And then Ushibar and Ferris. I got those, but what about MK and A? Who are they? M. Makise. K for Kiryu. A for Mane. The current world. Miri wouldn't understand. Those three lab members are on the world line. Are on, are on a world line undone and forgotten. I haven't told Miri or Dara about them. They wouldn't believe me if I told them, especially at the last initial A. I mean, how do I tell Dara he's going to have a daughter? <laughs> I can just imagine his reaction. <laughs> Who's my lucky bride to be? Oh, she's got a cute face, and a delicious flat chest, and a bot blonde, <laughs> really blonde hair, and a twin tails, and a golden ratio Sundarian personality. And when she's in Dara mode, she's clout. She's super cuddly and sexy. Oh! 
and then he explodes. He says something gross like that, no doubt. Huh. Seriously, he became a father? I remember. So they died in the time machine, Zoo gripped my head and said, Once you arrive, I'll probably disappear. Won't be able to thank you for bringing me to Statsky. So I'll thank you now. Thank you, Uncle. Don't die. Live. Live on. She predicted Sue had vanished the moment we turned to 20, August 21st. And for my eyes, the time machine was enveloped in rainbow light and disappeared. She was smiling. She faded away. I was proof that I had reached Steingate. So I don't want to... I don't I don't mourn Suzuka. In 70 years, let's meet again, okay? I don't know what the future will bring. There's the possibility that Dara won't get married. And Sue won't be born. But still, I believe that in 70 years, we will meet again. That's when I will give her this pin. Her birthright as a lab mem of 8. Then, I'll keep it in a safe place. Until then, I'll keep it in a safe place. <laughs> That's cool. I always head out of town, out to town alone. Once you get a better look at the Science Gate world line. But try as I may, I can't find anything drastically different. And back when Ferris's email raced the Moe's shops from Akiba, that time it was obvious that the world had changed. Well, there's now new, uh, no, now there's a new creepy sunflower thing <laughs> looking at me as I walk down, walk by. Hello there, it is I. Sun God Nico, I'm come to kill you all. <laughs> oh, that's not good. I feel unsatisfied, so look up the radio kai kit. Obviously, there's no satellite stuck in the roof. So, for business as usual, when I arrived right on this world line after I saw Suzuki disappear, the first thing I did was I did was ask Miri and Dara a question. Are there been any murders at Ryo Kaiken? As they panicked at the sight of my blood stained body, they answered with no one had been murdered at Ryo Kaiken. As we waited for the ambulance to arrive, I had Dara call up the news on my phone. They're running the story about Nakabachi's flight to Russia. Ah ha ha ha! What a fucking asshole! Ah ha ha! Suck my balls, bitch! You suck! Ah ha 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 ha! <laughs> yes, karma is a bitch. This time, Nakabachi looked terribly agitated. His eyes were bloodshot. I was yelling, spraying spit everywhere. His appearance was strikingly similar to how I saw him last in the hallway of Rio Kaiken. To me, his unintelligible rambling was evidence of Operation Skull's success. This is an outrage, an outrage, a fire. How can that happen? My precious thesis was burned to a crisp. The future of humanity went up in flames. There is no time. This is no time for an interview. We'll stand for this. Russian Airlines, I'll murder every last one of your crew members. Oh my god, really? I will murder everybody in the world. Dude, you get fucking arrested for that. <laughs> Dude, I hope they... Oh my god, I hope they beat the fuck out of him. I hope they take him to jail and then he just gets fucking... He gets fucking shanked in jail. Like, no, 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 He's like, oh god. He dies a painful fucking death. Money's not the issue. Aren't you listening? You burned my thesis. My thesis, which would have changed human history forever. I should never let you fools handle my suitcase. None of this would have happened if it, I just carried it with me. So I'll read. <laughs> what was your thesis about? Time travel, the edge that can control the grand grand control over all time, space and time, from past, present, and future. Wow, really? We're just, we're just gonna ignore the fact that you said I'm gonna murder, I'm gonna kill every one of your crew members. So we immediately return to the studio where a female reporter continued. This outburst continued for some time. Dr. Nakabachi, also known as Makise Suitsu, was detained by Russian authorities upon arrival at Domo de, de Dovo International Airport in Moscow. Makise is currently under investigation by the Tokyo Metropolitan Police, suspected the July 28th stabbing of a young man. Ah! Uh, I think anyone's going to listen to Nakabachi now. Aha! Yeah! Sweet! Oh, sweet! So, do that mean, uh. So, wait, do we. Okay. Yeah. But do they. They never find this, the, the guy that got stabbed, right? It's not like we say we can connect it to me, the one that went to the hospital, because it happened three. That happened three weeks later, right? For Armin's sake, let's see Nakabachi's managed to re recreate Frieza's thesis from memory. It will come of it as long as Frieza was alive. The scientific community undoubtedly arrested the Mikise daughter over the father, and Frieza can deter any attempts to me by Nakabachi. World War Three won't break out, or at the very least, won't be over the Nakabachi paper. I've seen Frieza. Apparently, Frieza reported to the police that I was stabbed, but at the present there have been, has been no progress on the investigation. It's the victim. From their point of view, up and disappeared. I heard from Dara that no one was murdered at Rayo Kaiken, and I couldn't find a single report of anyone dying in the area that day. Gracie is still alive. Must, that much is certain. But I haven't had any kind of contact with her since then. Aside from the few words we exchanged at Rayo Kaiken, the Kreisu and I are strangers. Besides, I was I was bedridden, so it's not like I could have gone to see her when I, even if I wanted to. Gracie said she was supposed to head go back to America in August. I was on, Af on the Alpha World Line, so things may have changed. But what reason would she have to stay in Japan after what her father did to her? Those made in my pocket. Two pins remain. One of them is Lab Mem 1. That's me. The main badge which belongs to Lab Mem 4. May never reach its rifle owner. Grease is alive. That's good enough for me. I once chose to let her die. I once killed her with my own two hands. This time I was able to save her. 
No one remember those, remembers those three weeks we spent with Kurisu. No one but me. I'll remember. I'll never forget. So I don't need anything else. I don't want anything else. Hey, Kurisu. I don't know what the future holds. Or may still break out. Sir may still complete the time machine. <laughs> Although I think if that happens, Zuo will just come back and be like, <laughs> Kama, you have no idea! World War, World War Six happens because of this! <laughs> Fuck you! No, get out of here! <laughs> don't care anymore! Fuck you! At the very least, the future is undecided. I'm building it now, from the bottom up. Not just me, not just you, but every man, woman, and child. Just keep on watching. Whatever is in this wide world you may be. Wherever in the wide world you may be. I take out my pin and fasten it to my chest. I walk through the sea of shoppers, staring straight ahead. <gasps> eh? We turn around. Just now in the corner of my eye, I saw her. The girl who shouldn't be here. Her long hair fluttered as she passed by me by. There. A familiar figure. I'd recognize, I'd recognize that back anywhere. She stopped, too, in the middle of the sidewalk. Slowly. Slowly, she turns to face me. <gasps> Yay! It's her. I thought she'd gone back to America. It's her. She doesn't even know me. It's you! That voice. That face. That hair. Those eyes. Look, he's a creature standing there. Same as I remember her. I've been looking everywhere for you! Ever since you saved my life. I was afraid I'd never have a chance to say thank you. I'm so glad we could finally meet. Thank you. Thank you so much. And thank goodness you're alright. Ryusu looks so radiant as she tries to hold back her tears. Which when I thought I finally suppressed it, all my love for her flows out at once. I'm so happy that I want to cry too. So to hide my embarrassment, take out my phone and put it in my ear. <laughs> it's me. What? Why is she here? Reading start reading started and activate. What? Protect her? Hmm, that's tall order, my friend. But if that is the choice of Stein's gate, then so be it, Hell I can grow. <laughs> so my phone clear my throat. I have no idea what to say. She's still staring at me with those wide pleading eyes. I open my mouth. We meet again, Christina. How many times do I have to tell you I'm not Christina? Or your assistant, or... What? Eh? Now I really have no idea what to say. <laughs> oh, is she remembering? Is it like how other people are... Like, how everyone else seemed to sort of remember it? Did they, did I, it doesn't sound like they're really going to explain that, are they? Why some... I mean, I, I guess it's really, it's kind of hard to explain, all right? <laughs> I don't really know if they ever could come up with a, a proper explanation for it, but somehow memories do go across timelines, and it seems like Akabe's is just stronger than everybody else, than most people's, I guess. I really have no idea what to say. Does Kurisu know about that? Those are the names I used to tease Kurisu. She always got mad whenever I used them. They were a bond, her private joke. But I've had, I had yet to use them on the, da the day we first met at Radio Kaiken. So how could this world line Kreisu know? Huh? I... Well, why did I say that? Words just popped in my head. It's like Kreisu is as confused as I am. She stares at me, bewildered. And then I finally realize the truth. Everyone has reading Steiner. Even if the world line changes, even if the past and the futures are rewritten, your memories will remain. You've merely forgotten. All takes a push, and you can remember. Memory of those lost three weeks. The memories we made together. Welcome back, my assistant. And Kisei Kurisu. No, Christina. Reach in my pocket and take out the last pin. Nobody knows what the future holds. And that's why, just as this reunion demonstrates, the possibilities are endless. I place the pin in Kurisu's hand and, clo and gently close her hand in mine. And holding back my tears, I tell her, this is the choice of Stein's Gate. The end. Yay! Yay, let's check my clear list here. Open the Steins Gate. That's my ending. <laughs> Yay! Woo! I got all my tips. Yay! <laughs> oh, look at that. 2%. Oh, is that going to just drive you crazy? Nah, fuck you. I don't care. <laughs> it's just the same freaking ending. Except less awesome. <laughs> Yay! I did it. Yes! So I guess I got all the CGs, right? Wait, I'm missing one. I'm missing a CG! Uh, maybe that's from Carisi's ending then. Yeah, whatever. Don't care!
Oh, man. So, yeah. I really enjoyed this, this game, this visual novel. Really, I can see why they, I can see why it was so popular and why they even made an anime out of it. I think they even made a manga out of it. They did a whole bunch of stuff with it. I can totally see why. The characters in this game were so good. Like some of the best characters in writing, like probably since like Persona 4 that I've seen. Just like, they were so, they were all so unique and different and engaging in their own way. And that's hard to do, I think, you know? It's hard to make you really care about characters. And I, God, I really did. By the end of this game, I really cared about every one of these characters. Even Moeka, like, you know, Moeka was, I mean, I don't know, no one was really truly evil in this, except maybe CERN, like the the CERN comp, uh, company itself, where, where they were kind of evil, but, you know, every and everybody else has sort of, they all have redeeming qualities. I really just, I don't know, I, the flow of the story was really good. You know, the dialogue was great. The, uh, the music was really good too. There wasn't a whole lot of songs, but they were all really nice. Like this main theme is really catchy. I love this, this main theme. I have nothing but really great things to say about this, this game. You know, I really just, it, I thought it was great. I'm, I'm really glad I was able to play through to completion because I was really enjoying it. And I, I was afraid because the fact that it really doesn't have much for any gameplay, it's just the making the choices. I was afraid that you guys would eventually lose interest with it, but you guys really stuck with it and I'm really glad so thank you so much for sticking with it, and I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Honestly, I'm trying to think of if I have any criticisms of it at all. I, I think probably the biggest, probably the criticism I have for it, probably the biggest one, would be the the choice system in this game. Just because it's, it was really hard to predict what Akabe was going to say when he replied to stuff, you know? Like, and once you clicked it, the problem was you actually couldn't go back and undo your message. You could, it's not like I could click it and see what he was going to write, and then be like, no, I don't want to do that one, and then... I guess I could have just saved it and loaded it back, but that's kind of that was kind of dumb. I thought it was it should have at least let me just go back again. Um, but it was also hard to just sort of predict. Like, I mean, I don't know how anyone could have gotten that Shrinning without a guide, honestly, and being ins insanely lucky. You know, I, I it, that I think was probably the biggest flaw of this game was just getting the Shrinning was really just like not something anyone could have figured out. I mean, sort of like I think a really great example of having a way to get a true ending was Persona 4. I was able to figure that out without a guide, but it wasn't like immediately obvious either. So, you know, they had it they had it where it was within reason within reason that someone could figure it out, you know, if they put their mind to it. So, you know, in this instance it really it was just like you really didn't have any way of doing it. So, that aside, really I have nothing but great things to say about this game. I'm really glad you guys recommended it to me. Um I'll probably check out more visual novels now. I'm now that I know that you guys are up for it, you know, in the future. Um, probably not immediately after this. I'll probably go back to doing, you know, just games for a bit. But this, but I'm not saying that I won't go back to doing visual. No I do another visual novel in the future. So I know there's one before this that they did called Chaos Head, I believe. Uh, and then there's actually one that they made that this company made after this called Robotic Works or something. I think Robotics something. The, actually, neither of those have been translated officially, but the first one has a, a fan translation. But I heard you guys have sort of talked about it, and you said that it really was kind of, it's a much, much darker than this one. Um, and this was, you know, had a fair amount of dark in it, but they also said the characters maybe weren't quite as engaging or something. I don't know. He said it wasn't quite as good as this one, essentially. So, I don't know. I may or may not check it out. You guys can, you know, let me know in the comments if you really want to see that. The other one, uh, unfortunately, has not been translated. Although I think, also, I think some of you guys said it was kind of not, it was sort of had a lukewarm reception in Japan, so. I don't know, maybe maybe it was just one and done then, right? But they had, uh, they, do, they are coming up with an actual sequel to this, and I, I think it's actually supposed to take place with like the same characters and stuff. Because you guys have been warning me not to look at anything about Steins Gate Zero. So it must be related to it somehow. I've, I'll have to look it up now after I've uh, I finished recording, but it's definitely something I would love to check out when it when it's released. But I think it's only right now currently being released in Japan, so, so we'll have to wait a while probably. But yes, anyway, I really hope you guys enjoy this as much as I do, as I did. Uh, I really thought it was just an absolutely great story. I liked the ending a lot. I really did. I thought the ending was great, the true ending. And I like that they met back with, with each other and the, you know, I, I thought that was good. And the fact that she did sort of remember bits and pieces of what happened between them. 
Although, I guess they never did, like I said, they never explained the reading Steiner. They said everyone could do it, but well, how is that possible? Eh, I guess it really doesn't matter, but anyway, let me know what you guys want me to play next. I might, again, fit in a third game uh, alongside those, those two, so. And if you enjoyed the series as much as I did, please like and a favorite. It really does help me out. And subscribe now if you're not already. Come a picky penguin for the SSLP, where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. I can't wait to see what uh, next adventure we get into next. Next uh, LP. Anyway, till next time, guys. Stay classy.